Hey guys, welcome to the fourth installment in the bucket plugin creation series, and uh, we're just about done. We just gotta finish up our server chat player listener class, and then we'll be able to test this thing out, and it will be working, hopefully. So our hello world.java, we've uh, we've stated what the plugin will do when it's enabled and disabled. It will show a message in the log saying that it's enabled, including the version number, and when it's disabled, it will show in this log that it is disabled. Um, and anytime a player chats, it contacts the server chat player listener. Um, so we've learned a little bit about variables and how you state the type first and the variable last. So um, maybe you guys are catching on to Java a little bit faster. So now we're going to go back to our server chat player listener. If you don't have the tab up at the top, just double click it in the project or package explorer. And it'll open it up. The first thing we're going to do so we're gonna reference our plugin, our other class, which is the hello world class. So we're gonna go plugin or public, sorry, static, hello world. And so we're referencing our other class, which is called hello world, and we're gonna instead of saying hello world every time, we're just gonna say plugin. All right. Now we're gonna say public server chat player listener. Hello world instance put a little opening bracket for the enter key and say plugin equals instance don't worry about this um, it's just a way that we can refer to our other class and I spelled instance wrong don't worry about this it's just uh, us referring to our hello world class since we're no longer in that so if we need to reach anything within that class we just type plugin dot whatever we need to reach so right underneath this, we're gonna uh, handle the event when a player chats. So we're gonna say on player chat, public void, my bad. On player chat, player chat event chat. So right there, we've already we just stated a variable up in these little two parentheses. So we're saying variable chat is another way of saying player chat event, which we need to import from bucket. So now Bucket understands that we're referring to its player chat event. And instead of saying player chat event every time, we're just going to say chat. You'll see what I mean momentarily. So we're talking about right here, we're saying when the player chats, it's going to be doing something. So right now, we're just going to say, we're going to make a variable for the player so we know who's sending the message. So we're going to say the type is player, the variable name will be p is equal to chat dot get player dot get name okay so p me is another way of saying to get the chat message uh, to get whoever's sending the message and their name so we're going to import player from bucket so now bucket knows what we're talking about and um, remove the dot get name that was my bad. We don't need that right now. Okay. Right underneath that, we're going to do string message equals chat dot get message. So every time we say message, we're just saying get the message from the, uh, we'll just get the message that the player is sending. Now we're just going to convert that to a lowercase. So we're going to make all the letters in the message lowercase. You'll see why in a sec. We're gonna say message lower is equal to message dot to lower case. So now we just converted the string message to lower case. Okay, so now we're gonna refer to chat color. So if we wanna put some colors into our the server's message that will be sent to the player, we're gonna say chat color with a capital C red is equal to chat color dot red. And finish that off with a semicolon. And we're also going to get the chat color white. So we're going to chat color white is equal to chat color white. Okay, it may have automatically imported it for you, but if it didn't, if chat color has a squiggly line underneath it, just hover over it and press import from bucket. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it's, we're going to say if the message that the player is sending contains the words hi and also the word server 
then um, we're going to contact the player. So we're going to say if message lower, so if the lowercase message contains hi and the message lower contains server, so two ampersands or whatever, uh, it's just no way of saying and it contain and it's doing something else. So if it contains high and it contains server, we'll make server lowercase. I'm gonna put an opening bracket. Okay, so we're gonna say if the message contains high and it contains server, we're gonna send the player a message. So do p, which we stated up at the top, p is player. Send message. We're gonna say color red so now our message will be the colored red basically and we're going to say in brackets server put a little space and then after that quotation mark we're going to put plus white so now our message is white so server in brackets is red and the rest of the message will be white and say hello put another plus stay another variable and say player dot get name so basically if they say hi server or hi their server or anything that contains the words hi and server it's going to send them a message saying the server hello in their name and then we don't really need their message to appear in everybody's on everybody's screen so we're just going to say chat dot set cancelled true save that okay now if we go over here we're going to notice that there's an error message um it's saying that we have not extended our player listener server chat player listener class so it's not really understanding what we're trying to do so go back over to server chat, server chat player listener and in the class right after its name we're going to type extends player listener and now if we save here hang on my made a typo we need to import it from bucket we save over here we go over here the error is now gone because so we need to extend the player listener so it knows that we're referring to an event that's just happened and now we are done I'm not even kidding we are now done with our plugin we just need to make our little YML file so it has our the plugins name the description because every plugin requires this so right click hello world go to new and go to file and you're going to say plugin.yml. Now, in the link of this video, there will be a paste bin link because YML files are very precise. They require a certain amount of spaces. You can't use the tab key or else it's going to cause error messages. It's based around spaces. So drag your text or, yeah, copy and paste, or I'm just going to drag the text clipping in here. Just copy and paste from pastebin into here. Uh, once you pasted it in, replace Geek Player with your name, whatever you made the name at the very beginning of this, and uh, save. And now, in our next installment, I'm going to show you how to test out the plugin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and tutorials.